everybody. Welcome back to the 300 ZX project here in the garage. Uh, today's video, we're going to be taking off door panels and the, um, the side mirrors. Uh, they're both coming off to be refurbished. Um, so we'll see how, how that goes. Um, for anyone who hasn't followed along with the series at all, this is an 86 300 ZX Turbo. So that's a Z31 car I'm working on here. All right, so door panels here. Um, by today's standards, these are pretty basic door panels. Um, not a lot of power stuff in them, really. Um, so taking them off shouldn't be that difficult. Um, pretty standard, I think. There's a, there'll be a screw here where the door release is. The armrest will be the one where the majority of the fasteners are because that takes some load when you're slamming the door. Uh, we've got a light here that probably screws into some sheet metal. And then it's probably a series of clips there and some clips that sit down here, I think. So I'm guessing the speakers are attached in the door and not into the door card. So we'll have a go. We'll see if we can get this off. All right, so Phillips screw there. That'll let that release. Um, you got a series of plugs here. One, two, three, four of them for the uh, armrest. So we'll pop those off. We'll see what kind of fastener we got there. And then two more Phillips down here to get that out of the way. Okay, that's, that's what the plugs look like. Okay, these are, these are in here pretty well. I took a decent sized screwdriver. There we go. There that's the fastener you're getting out. And now we've got a plug here. The door switch. There we go. All right, so in theory, there's a series of push clips all around here. I imagine a lot of them are broken or missing. Um, so they tug away here, it seems pretty loose. But oh, yeah, there we go. Typically, these drop down, so they should lift up these clips there. Plastic's still intact, that's nice. All right. All right, I'm gonna start on the mirror now. Um, well, I've started on the mirror now. Um, there's a piece of trim here that covers the fasteners. Uh, I've just started prying at it with a trim removal tool here. There are three molded in push pins, if you will, in this. So you see them there. So I got that out. I've got to cut them loose. So there we go. So if you can see the three of them. And that should reveal the fasteners uh, here, here, and then there's one more down here. So I'm going to take those three out. Um, and then there's the wiring. Now this is a power mirror and this particular one is heated. So I've already disconnected the wires down, down here. I've just, I've just wired them. There's a, a harness retention clipper, if you will, or clamp here so I just wired them up around that so I release them so again because it's got heat and its power there are 
two wires. Uh, I have an old one kicking around here. So this is just a power one, you just get the one wire. So that's how you can tell the difference. Um, anyway, so we'll get those three screws out and then we should be able to just lift this off of there, guide that wire through, and then I can refinish that. All right, got all three screws out. Um, what I've done to the pigtail, the wire pigtail, and so on this, I put a piece of string on it. So when I pull it through, I can leave the string there and it'll help me pull the wires back through again. Cause it seems a little, a little tight there. Reinstall it. All right, so here we are a couple of days later. Um, gotten the jobs done I wanted done on the bits that came off the door, and uh, I'm going to start reassembling. Now, it should be the exact reverse of the assembly. So, um, going to get the mirror on first. Um, see if my little string trick helps there, getting the wires through, and we'll go on from there. All right, just gotta put the uh, the screws in and that job should be done. Oh, and plug in the electrics, of course. All right, all wired up. Just put the screws and the cap back on. cover on now. Okay, so again, everything's been all cleaned up and everything. That's all screwed in. I have also replaced this handle. I had a spare one that had the, the chrome wasn't really coming off very, very slightly there, but the other one, the chrome was off all here. So that looks a lot better. Um, I think we're ready to stick the plastic back back up here and then we can put the door panel on. All right, so all we gotta do now is push clips around the bottom, get the armrests on, the trim back in, and the light, of course.
All right, last thing you do, pop the little plugs in. Uh, you need to orient them because they, they are shaped. All right, so last one. Um, I've just gone through with a, a little X-Acto knife here and just taken the burrs off where people have um, picked at these things, made them a bit of a mess, so. All right, here we go. Door and mirror back together. Um, so what I did on the door panel, uh, I fixed the elastic down the bottom here, put a new piece in, stitched it in and tied it off at the back. So it's holding that map pocket tight there. Um, I did sort of fix up the chrome there where it was wearing off. And I did that by using a a uh, quarter inch chrome vinyl tape that fit over quite good. I'm hoping that's going to stay on there. Um, but it definitely looks better than the whole area that was all black and discolored here. Um, we've tidied up the top as best we could there. And um, I mean, all, all this has been cleaned up. All the little grooves and everything that collect dust and dirt. And we refinished the mirror. So that's come up. Decently, I'm quite pleased with that because it was it was quite a mess. So um, Yeah Yes Well pleased with that. That's another job done All right, so working on the passenger side now which um, Pretty much the same as the driver's side the only difference you're gonna find is um, Once you get this armrest off here there is this pull handle. Um, and I'm just putting this back together now. Um, but it's got a bolt here and then a bolt here that I'm just putting in. Um, 10 mil socket. It screws into a captive nut in there. Um, so you have to get the armrest off first to, to get it uh, this under here. And then you've got a, a plug, a square plug plastic plug you got to remove to get to that but so that's the only difference on the passenger side all right here we go another job done for the interior of the car and uh if you're tackling door panels or uh, side mirrors i hope that was helpful to you gave you some clue what you're in for um as always uh, if you're enjoying the video the series at all a like a subscribe it's very much appreciated and, uh, and I hope I see you back here in the garage so we carry on working on the uh, 300ZX. You everybody drive safe out there. You have a great day. And I hope I see you back here.